You don't have to tell me that flower doesn't look like a flower. You don't have to tell me it's lopsided. I know it is and I just don't care. So this is going to be the third video about how to make a birdhouse. A gnome home birdhouse. So we got our front piece, we got our roof, we got a side piece. Hold on a minute. Where's the other side piece? Where's, there's a piece missing. Here's the bottom. Here's the back. But where's the other side piece? All right, hold on a second here. Oh, there it is. There you go. There's the other piece. Okay, so on the last video, this will be the third video. There's a first one, there's a second one. Yet yeah, they're both shitty videos, and this will be the third one. This will be the really shitty one. In the last video, I said that I'm going to paint this and stuff when it's together because it makes sense. But I'm just going to paint it up right now. So paint this and paint these sides. I'll wood burn these quick so they look like they're bricks and get it together. Okay. Well, well then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Okay. So can you tell what's different? So now they look like cactus flowers <laughs> in this silly little birdhouse. Okay, so now this is a signature carving fusion move. I got this polish shade. No, my it's not B B Bombay mahogany. No, it's not black. This is um, pecan. So I don't want this to be too dark. That's why. So I'm going to cover the whole thing with this Minwax polish shade. Okay, even the, I'm going to cover over top of the paint. I'm going to do the whole roof. I hope I got enough in here. And um, this is stuff's wicked, guys. It comes in all different sorts of colors. And, um, yeah, so I guess uh, I know for a fact that this roof, this roof is going to go darker than this wood here. This is this is one piece of wood right here. This is a complete separate deep piece of wood. You can already see now it's darker than this. So it's going to go darker. The roof should always be darker. Oh, I've been a roofer for like 15 years of my life. And the roof always needs to be darker than the house. That's what they say anyways. So let's get set up to get this uh, Minwax Poly Shade on here. Okay, so I'm doing all these pieces when they're still not, the birdhouse isn't still together. So I can flip this upside down and all the stuff can leak out of the, the deep spot, deep points, right? It's just what I do. See, this for me is a little bit like it's not going dark enough, but you have to let it get in the wood because the more it sinks into the wood, the darker it will get. I don't want this to be a dark piece anyways, right? It's it's supposed to be a nice bright birdhouse. Lots of my stuff lately has been a little bit too dark, and well, I just don't want this to be dark. And this brush is getting brush hairs all over this piece too but anyways so what I do is I, I, I put it on sorry if I went off screen there move the piece around to make sure you get all the spots right so you, what you're doing here is you're putting a stain on the piece and a protective on it too. A poly protective, right? Might as well do up here too. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wipe it off with a rag. I'm going to be giving this uh, piece to my stepdad and stepmom for their backyard they got you just i'll film their backyard one of these in the summertime when they got everything up it's a little tiny backyard but you should see all the knickknacks and stuff they got out there okay so it's a little bit light for me but that's okay that's what's going on here some of that white paint i could go over top of it with the bombay right now to make it darker it won't go dark as the normal bombay would go but it's fine it's just 
that's just good enough. Okay, so I'll get all these done and then I'll be back. Okay, so I did a little bit of epoxy pour in this window here. It's just dollar store five minute epoxy and I mixed a little bit of yellow paint in there and poured it in. Just kind of give it an extra little shine, I guess. So um, let's get the, uh, I want to show you guys this. Uh, it's basically crazy glue, but it's called CA glue. Okay, I'm not sponsored by these guys. I'm just an affiliate. Okay, so I, lo I love this stuff. I'm not saying it to, you guys know me. I don't try and sell anything besides, well, cuts all bars, but that's because I believe them in them. But um, I love this stuff. Um, so this, you get thick, thin, medium stuff. You get black stuff, thick, thin, medium too. And so this is just super glue, but it's um, star bond. They call it CA glue, but it's the exact same stuff because super glue is a brand name. So this is accelerator, right? So instead of it taking five minutes to dry or whatever, it dries like instantly when you hit it with uh, accelerator. And I think this is just, uh, I heard uh, it's acetone or something like that. But anyways, it's a spray, spray thing. So you spray, that's how I'm going to tack this together. And you guys, if you want to get this Starbond glue, I do. it is in my Amazon store. Or you can go below and um, there's a link to it in my um, down below in my description. Just hit that little arrow on the right and a big huge list will uh, open up. And uh, yeah, go to my Amazon store and you'll see it or it will just take you straight to the Starbond site. I think it's 15% off right now. It's either 10 or 15% or maybe even 20%. I'm not too sure. But uh, if you, there's a code you got to use. Anyways, so let's get this thing together. Oh, but first I got to tell you about the dream that I had last night. Maybe you guys can help me with it. I'm going to have to draw it out on paper. So let's get the camera in the overhead. I don't know. It's just a weird dream. And I want to know if it had a meaning or something. Okay. So pretend I'm in a dark green forest, but like it's dark, but green. Okay. If that makes sense. It's like nighttime. It's green. And there's this house, kind of like a cabin. And this is real. I'm not lying here. It's a cabin with a house and there's all these lights and there's all these yellow lights around it. And it, it kind of goes, there's a path with stairs that go down here and it goes below the, below, past, down past the cabin. I was walking here. It's like 20 feet below the cabin. You look up and you see these yellow lights. But I was walking down these, it was just a path here, but that turned into stairs. Okay, so these stairs go down lower, down about 30 feet down past the cabin. But there's all these weird yellow lights around. I had a log on my shoulder. I don't know why. I just, well, because <laughs> I, I collect drift when I put logs on my shoulder. I had a log on my shoulder, but there's all these trees and stuff here, right? Like, and we are down here at about at the point from the cabin, but beside it. And as soon as I get around a corner, right where there's a tree, there's a sleeping wolf there. I see the sleeping wolf. I'm like, oh, wow, look, it's a sleeping wolf. But then I stop and I look around and it was the whole pack of sleeping wolves. There was like sleeping wolves everywhere around down here. So I was just like, uh, I guess I should just be quiet and slowly back up. That was it. That was a dream. I don't know. I tried to Google... Uh, sleeping wolf dreams but or pack sleeping wolf pack dreams i don't know i don't know what it means who knows anyways let's get this thing together yeah so like after i've carved everything i've like man i got more carving to do because this sits on top of that piece like there or something like that right so now i gotta carve down here too so anyways what i do is i just uh let's get the glue going here I'll just put a strip of it uh, here, along here. Yeah, I'm doing that right. And I'm going to spray this bottom, get it wet, and then I'm just going to go like this. Set it on there, make sure it's where you want it. Like, look, that's not fully sealed. Like, it's not fully strength, but still, it grabs. Like it's on there. Okay, so let's do this other side. Okay, I'll spray the bottom of this. 
put her on. Pissed me off. Now I gotta carve the bottoms of these boards too. Okay. So, uh oh. Better hurry up before that hardens up too much. I'm going to uh, put some on here. I guess I don't need that much. I guess I just need to tack it, really, because like, I'm going to nail this. Anyways, spray it with this stuff, the accelerator. Oh, boy, this is... Whatever, it's stuck together. Okay, I'll finish all this and I'll be back. Okay, so anyways, you guys can see how fast that Starbond glue works with the accelerator. But look, now I gotta carve all this shit. I gotta carve all, sorry, pardon my language. I gotta carve all this, carve up here, make this bricks, make this wood, make this bricks down here. Yep. Anyways. Okay, so here it is. This is what came of it. You know, I just got to say, I wasn't prepared to have to recarve all this stuff and the bottoms again. So, you know, if you're going to do something like this, it's kind of, I guess, how can I say this? Like, know where you're going to, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, I had to redo all this stuff. If I was, I think if I was going to do another house like this, I would probably, a good chance, I would probably put the birdhouse together first without the roof on it and carve all this when it's all still together. Cause I could have made this seem way tighter and make it like one big brick. Same with these, right? So if there wouldn't be that seam there, it would just be one big brick. But anyways, it is what it is. It turned out not bad. Um, I struggled with this. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad it's, I'm glad it's done. I still got to put the hinges in the back here. I might even just, <sighs> my dad's a little, what's it called? He's a, he fiddles with things. My stepdad, he fiddles with things and uh, he can probably put a hinge on it, but he's going to have to put a clamp here too or something to make it so it locks. Cause Pete says if the, the, wit, the roof can blow with the wind and go like this, the birds might not want to live there. So you have to lock this roof down. But anyways, Okay, you guys know I got one more thing to put on this. You probably know what it's going to be too. Can you guess? Can you guess? And another thing too, like it might be a lot easier just with the square roof. Because, like look, see the gap there? Doesn't matter, the gap's not a big deal. But if you're a perfectionist, a square roof, you, you won't have that gap. And you'll see like there's a gap right there. Or you can cut these boards at a 45 and do whatever you want to do so square roof like this boom no gaps right the water's still not going to get in it because you got a roof and you got an overhang anyways let me get the other thing on it and uh, i'll be back okay it's so just so you guys know i did try and put hinges on but these ones are too small so my dad will do it it's not me being lazy so here's the bonus it's just uh, a big, huge chimney with the spirit face on it. <laughs> uh, I tried screwing it on without drilling the hole, pre-hole through it, and it broke, so I had that crazy glue, just glued it back together, but then I pre-drilled the hole. I'm lazy when it comes to that stuff. Anyways, guys, that's it. Do I love it? No. Will my stepdad and um, his girlfriend love it? I think they will. I know the, the chimney's a little bit over the top. It's all over the top. But they're going to see this. I'll take a video. I'll take a video of it when they got it up on the tree. But I, I'm sure they're going to enjoy it. And people are going to walk by. are going to see this flower. Just have fun. You know, this kind of, 
like I fought this whole piece because I, um, I'm tired. I just haven't been sleeping that well because I've been working graveyards. But anyways, I hope you guys are all good. And um, this maybe has opened your mind to do something like this. It's a fun project. And like I said, it's probably easier to carve this when it's already together. I still got to brad nail this together. And I'm going to give it another coat of a uh, couple coats of clear coat. So anyways, hope you're all good. And uh, thanks again, everybody. So what do you guys think of the birdhouse? Absolutely love it. It's the best one yet. Is, Just love it. Is love, it? love the chimney. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See? Very nice. Very cool. Love it. Love it. Show them the sides too. Sides there, it's a different color. Yeah, see, Pete, Bob's gonna Bob can put hinges on it and a little latch on it, like you said. Stop it from opening up. That is so awesome. Yeah. Okay, I'll have that fixed. My favorite. Okay. That'll be, that'll be fixed tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Thanks, Bye. George. Thanks, okay. George. But <laughs> Love you. Love you too. But Truthfully, with uh, art, my favorite thing about it is being able to give it away and people getting their chance to uh, enjoy it. Thanks, everybody.